is teaching middle school students about what policy is uh, and, and how to develop it, et cetera, too early for them to learn? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In fact, I, I would even uh, suggest that um, we start as early, I mean, as, as the child begins to show cognition and able to, to uh, make choices and, and able to understand, you know, even in the home, you know, why certain choices are, 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 are not good for him or her um, and, um, uh, and helping them to develop a personal frame of reference so that they begin to understand that they're not, they're not at the mercy of the things that happen to them in life, but, but that uh, they have within them the, the, the capabilities and the capacity to be able to have um, a say and some power about the contour and the context and the direction of their lives. I read the introduction about your book, uh, Vindication of Broken Women Who Possess Deep Walls, 2016. Every extraordinary encounter usually opens the door to extraordinary transformation and revelation of extraordinary potential. I, too, believe that this is true. Now, our children are presently experiencing extraordinary encounters, you know, whether through poverty, single parenthood, seeing malfeasance at an early age, etc. I believe that if we tap into that pain or that desire to have a better life, we can teach them pertinent skills like, say, policy development that will hopefully make better lives for them and their community or communities. What are your thoughts about that? Sir, I agree with you 200 uh, and even more than that percent. Uh, the, the fact that, that um, I'm encouraged, the fact that we're even, we can even have this discussion mm -hmm. and that you have seen through the, this whole, the, 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 the whole conflict and, 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 and you pulled out of that the fact that until, until they understand that the pain in itself, the disenfranchisement, the marginalization, the discrimination, the, the malfeasance, um, um, where, where they've had to witness those that we suppo we're supposed to trust for our safety mm -hmm. actually um, b um, doing things that, that are not in our, our best interest or our survival or health, that when they're able to see that, and what I would call it, that, that pain, their pain and their disappointment should be made to serve their goals and their dreams and their purpose if they understand that they need a framework by which not to live life in a random way. Would you deem it wise for school districts to incorporate policy development and implementation into their curriculums? Yes, sir. I absolutely, yes. They need to do it. And again, I would say to teachers um, that, that, it, that, if you're, that if you want to maximize the instructional process, and the subject matter and, the, and, 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 and that particular uh, piece of the curriculum that you're going to be discussing. Do it from a point, do, do policy development and formation from a framework of relevance. Let them first understand personally what it is, and then from that, from, from that, from that, from that concentric circle or series of circles, move outward then all the way to to, to society, to the, to the classroom, to school, the district, to society, uh, to institutions, and so forth, and understand how it all serves the same purpose. I have an interest in introducing middle school students to learning about law. Okay, I'm starting a program with a long-term view that teaches middle school students law. This program will be taught on a graduated scale, which will extend all the way through uh, to high school graduation. In your opinion, would this type of program be useful, and what steps would you take in order to make it happen and remain sustainable? You as an educator, myself as an ed educator, we know that that which is taught from a perspective of relevance is, is able, able to be um, retained and maximized forever. 
and a plethora of ways. Before a law can be enforced, it has to be written, it has to be codified, it has to be created. One of the things that, that, that those who pursue law, like in, in, uh, at graduate level, what they find out is that the law tells more, more about the people, the conditions or the desires of the people who wrote the law and created the laws or, or coming up with those laws than the laws themselves, yeah. because that there was something that they feared or mm-hmm. something that they wanted badly yep. that caused them to put in put in put into force. In other words, a societal policy. Yes, that we call law. That's right. That's right. I agree with with, with you doing that. Hopefully, one of the outcomes they as being being also uh, equal um, members of, of of our democracy. They have a right to have a say in shaping law or modifying laws that do not serve them or, serve, or don't serve certain members of this of the society as well as it does others. 